Good evening. I would like to welcome our families, friends, teachers, Board of Education guests, and my fellow classmates to the graduation class of 2021 from West Oaks High School. At this time, I invite anyone who wishes to join me in prayer. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for gathering us all here today to celebrate this special occasion. Thank you for all the numerous sharing and material learned throughout our time at West Oaks High School. Thank you for all of our amazing teachers, classmates, and parents who have assisted us along our journey. I ask that you bless each and every one of us with your guidance as we prepare to let pass and face new beginnings. Please provide us with the wisdom needed to clear any hurdles we may face as we embark on these new journeys. Help us use our talents and gifts to achieve our dreams and call our memories to keep you first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As principal of West Coast High School, I'd like to welcome you all to our commencement ceremony for the class of 2021. Tonight's event will celebrate the many accomplishments of the young people who came before you. As we honor the class of 2021 tonight, we would like to recognize their successes as well as their future plans. 73% of these students plan to further their education at a technical community or four-year university. Two students plan to enlist in the military, and others plan to enter the workforce. This class has earned over $1.2 million in scholarships. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Joining us tonight for the celebration is Dr. Donna Cotton, Chief Academic Officer for Wilkes County Schools, and Mrs. Joan Paul, member of the Wilkes County Schools Board of Education. Thank you both for joining us as we honor the class of 2021. Hello, graduates, families, and friends. I'm Donna Cotton. I am Chief Academic Officer for Wilkes County Schools, and I'm here to bring you congratulations and best wishes, graduates from our Central Services Department and Superintendent Mark Bird. I'm especially excited about being here. I was a teacher at West Wilkes High School for 10 years. Very, very special to me. My husband was a graduate, my son was a graduate of West, and I'm lucky to have a few of the graduates sitting here tonight um, were elementary students for me when I was principal at Mount Pleasant, so that's exciting to me as well. As well. I know you're all excited and ready to begin this very special ceremony this evening. So let, let me simply say to the graduates, be proud of yourselves. You have pushed the year through the most challenging 14 months any of us have ever seen. I'm sure you'll hear that many times. The fact that you're sitting here tonight shows your determination to get through those challenges and disappointments. After tonight, you can be confident that you can face anything future obstacles, anything through the perseverance that you have developed these past 14 months. Get past those obstacles and move forward. With this skill, you all can do anything. Best wishes to you all and congratulations, class of 2021. Wilkes County School Board members. My name is Joel Hall, and I'm a member of the Wilkes County Board of Education. On behalf of myself and the other board members, I would like to express our congratulations on your educational accomplishments. This is a very special evening for the 2021 graduates of West Wilkes High School. What seems like just a few years ago, I was sitting in your seat with my future ahead. I'm proud to be returning to my alma mater for this momentous occasion. This has been a year like none before, and the strength, perseverance, and adaptability you have shown will serve you well in the days to come. You have mastered such important things as online learning, classroom social distancing, 
and that's where you want to learn. Now there's nothing you can't do. Tonight you are accomplishing one of your major life goals, and there are even greater things to come. This evening, I would be amiss if I did not give a shout out to two lovely young ladies who are graduating tonight because I know them personally. These two I have watched grow up, one from birth and the other since she was a little girl. I have known their families and I know that they're proud of the young women that they have become. So I want to give a special shout out to Gracie Lambert and Hannah Bumgarner. You will both do great things. In closing, I would like to leave you with some words of wisdom from the Holy Bible, which I tried to emulate in my personal life. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And Matthew 17, 20, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence from yonder place, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So to the graduates of Westwood High School 2021, I say congratulations. staff, the graduating class of 2021. For those of you who don't know, my name is Evan Manning, and I am fortunate enough to have served as a senior class president this year. Before I say anything else, it wouldn't be right if I didn't thank you all. Parents, aunts and uncles, grandparents, and anyone else who has helped us get here today, you have been with us since the beginning. From our diapers, our first steps, Days of us refused to be dead out of the park for school. That may have just been me, I'm not exactly sure. Our time in middle school, all the way to now. You have been there for all of our achievements, big and small, and on behalf of all of us graduates, I want to say thank you. Next, I would like to thank the staff here at Westwood High School. All of you put time and effort into ensuring our success, preparing lessons and fun activities, and showing your compassion to all of your actions. You took on this crazy challenge, just like we did, and maybe this year one turn into the us, the student college. Finally, I want to thank the class of 2021. You all have gone through this journey with me, through elementary school, middle school, and high school. We experienced the same highs and lows, the same wins and losses, and most importantly, we will all share the same great memories made here at Westwood High School. This year was one to be remembered. Everything changed, and everyone felt the wrath of COVID-19 in some way. Sports seasons were canceled and moved to a later date. Classes were spent in the comfort of our own homes, and any form of in-person interaction was shut down. While I find it hard to believe that our senior year wasn't what we spent our previous years anxiously waiting for, I found light in this dark and strange time. I found resiliency in each and every one of them. Sitting here today has proven itself that despite being thrown challenges and having many setbacks caused by unfamiliar circumstances, we all run through the challenge of completed our final year of high school. Still smiling and laughing through it all, and even finding times in a hot situation when things began to feel normal. You all completed your work, logged into class, went to practice, and made it the best year you possibly could. And for that, I applaud you. The class of 2021 here at Westwood High School did not be forgotten. We didn't lay down and give up on our senior year. We persevered through it all. We fell seven times and stood up eight. And that would be the lasting impact on not only the students here now, but the students that will come long after us. I leave you with a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. He said, It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, but where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. Because there is no effort without error and short term. But who does actually strive to do deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while there and great, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Class of 2021, we don't know defeat and we never will. Thank you.
Good afternoon. My name is Todd Gensel and I'm the student body president here. I'm thankful to be able to stand here together and for the privilege to have a graduation ceremony where we all get to walk across stage and celebrate our many accomplishments over the last four years. I would like to thank all of our teachers, coaches, and administrators for coaching us through these years, helping us to succeed and graduate. I would also like to thank the parents and families like mine who are always there to support us, even in the midst of a pandemic and remote learning. I'm especially thankful for the Power School app, letting my mom know my great updates were in sex. Freshman year, we met at the We finally escaped the captain and met at the next. Intimidation filled the halls. We walked them into the towering seniors. Walls in the halls was going to be a lap. We were given an hour lunch, but we could eat anything or anyone. Changes in the area that took time to adjust. We are able to take tea with Miss Green, who are meant to be one of the more challenging classes that I've ever taken. We took our first high school course classes of math, English, and science. We got to experience our first high school game where we watched the football team run through the Harley. And we watched our baseball, softball, volleyball, and wrestling teams on the conference. Middle school became a distant memory, and we thought about the future, where we could go to college, and we thought about the day we could finally walk across the stage where I stand today. Sophomore year came, and with it came the comfort we had liked the previous year. We knew our way to the halls, we no longer feared the school, like we had the prayer this year. Slowly, we acquired to acquire our lives, and with it acquired the greatest freedom of life. We attended more school events and got more involved in clubs. I'd like to thank all the teachers who took their time out of their lives to advise these clubs. With the new freedom came more responsibility. Our classes began to grow increasingly difficult. For the first time, some of us were enrolling in college and AP classes. Some people get, began to acquire jobs. Some people began to focus on perfecting their sports. And we all began to mature. Before we knew it, we were juniors. Junior year was the year to be alive. By this time, we had faced the dread of number 214, Coach Chief's Way. The rumors of the dead of Matt 3 were one of the coward fronts of our first day at West Wilkes. By the time we found out T is just a big teddy bear who had a juice of our future. Boy, he did like quizzes, though. He loved them so much, one of the agents often loved a bit of But the good news was, if you didn't succeed on his first quiz, he was always willing to give you a second chance. Next thing. As juniors, the spirit week was dominated by a crazy outlook. Neither our school spirit nor our need for those extra credit points had never been heard. By the time spring break came, we had never been more time. It seemed like the past year just never stopped. Our spring break was great, but right as it was ending, we celebrated its extension. But after about a month, the spring break started to get old. Spring break was the entirety of my junior year as well. Taking things into prompt and nothing. Remote learning started, we got the best of both worlds, sleep and school. Once an anchor rebellion became an added to and we finally ended the year and then flew into the season. We made it. One year was big. From the temperature checks in the morning, the often forgotten yellow car, the dreaded hall which we all stood and faced the questioning. The mass days, the mass break, the glare turning at high school where some recess. To the days of remote learning, the school has been one of the most outright visitors, but we rose to the challenge. Life inside school was the only thing different about this last year. Life outside of school was changed too, with most of the regular events and joint seniors being canceled due to the wrong. Although we didn't do those typical senior events, we all found on other ways to entertain ourselves. Some people learned how to cook, some people became professional gamers, and some people, like Mr. Allison, learned how to renegade and be a savage TikTok. <laughs> Although the last year was a difficult school year, I enjoyed the chance we had to make some memories we did. Over the coming years, we will all branch out and some successful in our own ways. I wish the day we meet again and share the crazy experiences we had to call out the promotion for this environment group. May God be with you all as you continue in your future endeavors, and I will continue to pray for the success and well-being on each of you. In the infamous work of Coach T, I'm rooting for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Four years ago, you entered the halls of Westwood High School as freshmen, looking for homeroom to get your schedule and try to figure out where your classes were. Look at you now. You've not only made it through the high school course requirements, but you've done so while behind the mask, working from home, interacting through the Zoom platform, and living through a pandemic. Your high school experience is quite different from most in this room. Two and a half years of what we consider normal, and then a year and a half of everything except normal. I hope that as you sit here today, you can reflect on the time you spent here and stop, perhaps even laugh. There were moments throughout the last 15 months when this day seemed like it would never get here. And in true fashion, 
the weather, as I was guessing for the last couple of days, which is we've been here today. But again, we've jumped a hurdle that life has placed in our path, and here we are. My prayer for you is that you will take all of the experiences that you have had in the last four years, those that were fun and those that were challenging, and learn from you. You have proven that with the help of those around you, your families, your teachers, your friends, you can achieve most anything you set your mind to. Continue to look at what you have been given, not what you feel has been taken away. The mindset, that mindset is key to moving forward. Robert F. Kennedy said, Few will have the greatness to be in history itself, but each of us can work to change a small portion of events, and in the total of all those acts will be written in the history of this generation. I have never been more humbled and grateful to be the principal of Westbrook High School than I am today. I look forward to seeing your next steps of success. Remember, once a black hawk, always a black hawk. Wherever the road takes you, there will always be a group of folks here cheering you on. Congratulations, Black 2021. This year, Mr. Kelly Allison has been awarded that honor. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Marshall, please take your places for the awarding of the diplomas. Yes, we do ask that you hold your applause until the end so that everyone's name can be heard during the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased and honored to present the graduating class of West Coast High School 2021. Dustin Philip Asher. Olivia Reese Allen. Macy Aaron Allen. Christian Patrick Anderson, Matthew Douglas Anderson, Alexander Aguiano, Bradley Scott Marquette, Dylan Paris Paul, Miguel Amado Barbara. Jameson Meany Bell. Pierce Edward Benton. Seth Landon Billings. Matthew B. Blankenship. Emma Drew Poyles. Jacob Alexander Brandon. Dylan Wayne Brown. Go, Spencer Ryan Brown. Yeah. Hannah Ellen Baumgart. Lauren Michelle Baumgart. Joshua Tim Byers. 
Randy Neal Carr. Timothy O. Carswell. Kenneth Nathaniel Carr. Fallon Hope Carlton. Kathy Noel Carter. Katie Marie Castle. Juan Carlos Castro Lopez. Paxton Nicholas Church. Dustin Cole Church. Elizabeth Grace Church. In absentia, Dustin Cole Church. Howard Trinity Church. Kristen Holly Church. Leah Elizabeth Church. Madeline Jean Church. In absentia, Sean Matthew Church. Tiny Wayne Clark. Cheyenne Nicole Clark. Chandler Gale Cahoon. Caitlin Marie Coughlin. Allie Zara Crompton. <laughs> Seth David Muller. Alexander Wilson Dancy. Caleb Michael Dancy. Lance Shane Donovan. Autumn Alyssa Doyle. Bradley James Duncan. Kenneth Michael Devorsak. Aaron Stephen Allen. John Wayne. Ella. Macy Elizabeth Elliott. Austin Eugene Ellis. Dawson Gregory Ellis. Andrew Chairman Estrada Bridges. Haley Victoria Everett. <laughs> Lily Catherine Paul. Benjamin Taylor Flora. Mason Gabriel Foster. In absentia, Kyle Nosu Coentes. Henry Matthew Cruz. Myra Elise Gamble. Tyler David Gamble. Olivia Danielle Hillary. <laughs> Joshua Daniel Gold.
Logan Charles Cox. Aiden Scott Graham. Carter Davis Gregory. William Thomas Gregory.
Dylan Andrew Miller. Taylor Lynn Miller. Clayton Dimitri Minton. Alexandria Paige Neese. Elijah B. Nichols. Ray Thomas Nichols. Woo! Sophie Elizabeth Nichols. Zachary Chase Nichols. Dawson Cole Osborne. Chandler Paisley, Caroline Ruth Parsons, Garrett Joe Tucker, Derek Ryan Pennington, Roman Perez Brazil.
Juan Miguel Tanas. Austin Wayne Tripler. Lauren Alyssa Banoy. Abigail Carissa Waddell. Gracie Nicole Watts. Hunter Matthew Wang. Jared Taylor Wentz. Sydney Shay Whitley. Jesse Connor Whitley. Heather Nicole Whittington. Savannah Elizabeth Whittington. Jenny Lynn Madeline Wilcox. Jason Jean Wilkins. Thank <laughs> you. 